shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of 29487 for replacing, upgrading, and modifying of the existing computer system operated by the IT division under the finance department and, the, and authorize the withdrawal of 29487 from the Management Information Systems Capital Reserve Fund created for that purpose by Article 27 of the 1997 Town Meeting and to vote after the foregoing withdrawal of the sum of 29487 is made to discontinue the said Management Information Systems Capital Reserve Fund with the balance of said funds which accumulated interest to date of withdrawal to be transferred to the general fund. Majority vote required. <coughs> um, recommended by the Board of Selectmen. Five to nothing. So I'll make a vote. move it to the general fund? Yeah. That's what it says. Does anybody want to talk on that, Fred? Just the only thing they're moving to the general fund, Madam Chairman, is the interest that's accumulated during this particular year. Okay. And you'll be discontinuing that fund with this warrant article? Yeah, just continuing the capital problem. reserve fund if that's done, yes. Okay. But where's the principal going? The principal is going to fund the IT. Did I have a motion on that to open that up? I, I, I look to uh, Jerry. IT. What, is part of it, MIS? MIS. Yes. The four lines we talked about? Mm -hmm. Can I have a motion from somebody to open this up? I'll have a, I'll, uh, Thank take you, a motion Brian. to. I'll second it for discussion. Madam if you Chair, if, if, or Madam Chairman, if you mind. Right. Um, IT subcommittee met today, earlier, um, to discuss this warrant article. Um, the position of the IT subcommittee was unanimous not to re recommend after careful deliberation. The committee essentially believes the fund should continue to exist as it is without any withdrawals made this year. Uh, I'd like to give the floor up for discussion. So you're going to leave it alone in the fund? Correct. There's you guys, you, did, did anybody second his uh, motion? Yes. Okay. So what we decided on at the last meeting was those four line items. We're going to stay defaulted to o, the 015, the 015 budget would stay the same for 016. Uh, if, I, if, if I may interrupt for one second. This is trying to do away with the MIS fund, not the budget. Nothing to do with the budget directly. We took out money in the budget because we said they could use this money, but that isn't really true. But uh, I, need, I need clarification then. Is that this, is, this, this motion What's was... What's your question, Jerry? My question is, there were four line items we discussed at length in the MIS budget. Mm -hmm. Right. And we said, they will stay at the 015 budget line, not their requested 016 line. That's, that's correct. correct. End of story. Yep, that's true. There was some ancillary discussion about taking some money out of the IM, out of the technology fund mm -hmm. and using it in that those four line items, but I'm I'm the one who instigated that discussion, I think erroneously, because these sub uh, subgroup here mm -hmm. You know, what came in after my initiation right. on, on Thursday, a day later, or whatever, and made me aware of how they felt. Mm -hmm. so no, there was some confusion because. There was confusion, it, yes. absolute confusion. I, th huh? I think we've got it all figured out. I think here. you do. We I'm do happy now. with the budget the way it stands. Well, clarify it for the rest of us because we left here the other night with four lines in, in question, and we knocked back <clears throat> two of them to previous funding. That's but what good. was at question was funding for the 365. Right. So some were suggesting that this fund be knocked down and that the funding from that could then be rolled into the 365, which I think some at this table is still under the impression that that's what was going on. But now we have a different recommendation from IT. Mm -hmm. So. If you could elaborate, those of you in IT, where the change is, because by knocking it back mm -hmm. to previous funding, that leaves nothing new for 360 or the extra computers. That was talked about. So I'm going to leave this with Tim and Nick right now. I want so to hear what they one of you or both of you or take turns, but have this be transparent to us by the time we're done. 
In 2015, they got approval for 20 new computers, which they fulfilled. Um, I don't think we're adding any additional additional computers to the 20. So they're on schedule to repair, replace 20 more in 2016. Mm -hmm. I think that that's that's the uh, what we were working on in the IT subcommittee. Um, <coughs> There was some discussion of, of using this money to pay for 365. Um, Tim can speak more on that, but I just wanted to clarify that they're still in the program to on track to, without increasing their budget lines in those four lines, okay. they're still on track to repa replace 20 computers. The four original 015 budget Correct. line. By even not raising them, they're still on track to. Okay. to so we haven't heard. No, we we did not the program touch. of replacing twenty Correct. computers. Okay, Correct. So, Tim. Yeah. Put Eileen run the meeting, Jerry. Well, I know you've been trying to signal to say something. Call him patiently enough to let the chairman run the meeting. Mine, gentlemen. Three o'clock. Thank you. <laughs> the uh, <clears throat> the confusion I don't quite understand where it's coming from, but it's really rather simple. The finance director, who is the department head of MIS proposed an increase of slightly over $36,000 in what she refers to as the four equipment-related line items. 24000 of that $36,000 plus increase was intended for an Office 365 implementation. The other twelve was apparently for, well, just equipment in general. It wasn't, I don't recall any specification as to what that, what that 12,000 was targeted to. In 2015, they had already purchased, uh, by the time we asked our written questions and got them answered to, they had already purchased 10. They have an annual recycle replacement schedule of 20 PCs per year. They had already placed 10. <coughs> Last week, Christie reported they have an open PO for another 10. They're still well within the budget to do the 20 PC replacements in 2015 with 2015's budget. Therefore, with, if we carry the 2015 budget with the same number in tw as 2016 for those four equipment-related items, they will still be able to do their 20 PC replacements per their recycling schedule. So there, there was no need for that extra 12 plus thousand as we saw it. We didn't see any justification for that. Regarding the Office 365, we all agree that it is a fine concept to pursue. It needs a plan that's uh, more fully thought out than what has been revealed to the IT subcommittee. Uh, we see it as somewhat anemic with regard to the technical plan as well as the return on investment, to put it simply, from a management point of view. That's not, not been clearly specified either. So we are encouraging the plan of the adoption of Office 365 to be further developed to, prior to us adding more finance or adding financing to it. So that took out the $24,000, okay? So there we are flat with the 2015 budget. Now, somewhere in the mix, there was, you know, there was a discussion at the IT because we had revealed that there was an MIS budget from, uh, excuse me, an MIS fund that was created in 1997 that still had close to 30000 into it. Now, having had some discussions about that, it somehow got floated out that there was some desire to get rid of the fund. And uh, so we met today, the IT committee met today, and uh, I think we deliberated on the matter for like an hour. Close to it, yeah. Yeah, and so we tossed it around quite extensively, and we're all unanimous in agreeing that the fund should remain untouched. And so that's where we are. Who is the uh, subcommittee? Who makes it up? Nick is the current chairman. I am on it, and Mike Pierce is on it. <coughs> Well, the Board of Selectmen didn't make any changes on it, all right? This is what this article is intended. This is what this article is The Board of Selectmen warrant article. They didn't vote on any changes. Right. Yes, they did. They voted for a warrant article to get to eliminate the fund. But this is also coupled that. with not... As I could saw in Wednesday, Monday's meeting, I don't recall there was any discussion about it, other than the presentation made by the town manager. <laughs> but w one of the other differences here, okay. too, though, is that... It's also coupled with not recommending the 360. Right. No, the no, 360 no, the, is not the, mentioned in this one. The position of, of no, the subcommittee is, the is sub that we, we, we all see benefit in 365. Yeah. Okay. What we want 
is a little bit more of a presentation so we can sell it to everybody. $24,000 a year moving forward in perpetuity is, is not small potatoes. We want to make sure we, we, we're, we're confident in selling that. Right now, we don't feel that we're, it's not sitting well with us. So our position after meeting today was there's no harm in leaving that money in the account for another year. Give them a little chance to kind of sell it a little more, get a better presentation for us to, to <coughs> answer the questions that we're in doubt of right now. Okay. Okay, so also on hold, you've taken the funding out of the budget for that was done on Friday, I believe. Right. Yeah, we're very, the committee is very clear. We, we adamantly well, the do not adore the IT committee is clear. We are adamant. We're unanimous. We do not think that the implementation of 365, the plans are ready to be effectuated. We do not believe it ought to be funded this year. We think it's a great concept that should be pursued and the plans need to be better fleshed out. When they are better fleshed out, we will be unanimous in supporting it and in terms of financing it. Right, so we, should, we should vote on this article. Okay. Any more discussion on this article, Scott? Um, I'll be supporting the article because I think this is a fine line where the subcommittee has overstepped their bounds and, and really gotten into management as opposed to review. And I, I just think that uh, the town, the selectmen, the manager, the department heads, uh, they want to they want to implement this. They see a need for it, and uh, they should be allowed to do that. And and these funds will will allow them to do that, despite the fact that we've cut their their budget. Mike. Uh, yeah, I just want to make a quick comment, and then I'll move off of it. Um, the original Article 27 was pretty clear: to raise an appropriate mon money, thirty thousand dollars, be placed in the fund, and with the passages of this. One article. There'll be a committee set up to recommend future withdrawals of this from this fund. That never happened by even the next year or whatever. So that's a little bit of history on the one. Article. We have th almost thirty thousand dollars sitting here now because they did spend oh, about half of it in 1998, and this has been sitting there ever since. Not that I wasn't even aware of it to be honest. And uh, so we have this twenty-nine thousand dollars sitting there, which would probably be a nice fit with the town moving towards 365. However, I don't want to spend any of this money or any money in the budget towards 365 until we have a plan. That's like saying, I want to build a big building that costs $5 million, but I have no plan. I don't think the public will buy that. No offense, it is not policy. That's just prudent thinking with money, a plan to spend. It. So that's my two cents. Jim? I take your point on on, on, uh, on that. Um, the IT committee um, might be perceived as overstepping its bounds, but if you look at the 1997 Warren article, they created this fund. They also created it with the idea that there would be the formation of an MIS committee to recommend withdrawals from that fund. And as Mike just said, the committee was never created. So in this town, as far as a RMIS committee or an IT committee, your budget committee's IT subcommittee is the closest thing this town has in terms of making a recommendation. And so that's what we're doing. Okay. Just so I can answer that question, Madam Chairman, there was an IT committee at one or a committee on this particular warrant article at one point in time because funds were, were withdrawn and the town meeting allowed it. And the selectmen appoint all committees, not not the budget committee. And the selectmen are acting the committee, acting as the committee because they can appoint themselves as a committee to withdraw these funds, and that's why the warrant article is here. Okay. That's their privilege under the law. In nineteen ninety seven this fund was created. In nineteen ninety eight, the selectmen created a warrant article to withdraw about half the money. Right? There was no MIS committee created. The board was may have, you may interpret that as being implicitly the board created themselves as a committee. But you could can. interpret it that way. But they uh, can. Yeah, you could interpret that that, that took yeah. place. I'm not objecting to that. No, but they, they I'm can. I'm simply giving the history of it. It was created in 97. Right. Half the fund was withdrawn in 98. Hasn't been touched since 98. It's blown back as a result of the work of the trustees of the trust fund to nearly its original amount of $30,000. 
uh, as I pointed out earlier, this Warren article uh, to eliminate the MIS fund uh, was passed by the Board of Selectmen Monday night unanimously without any discussion, only the presentation by the town manager. I didn't hear the man saying anything about creating themselves as an IT committee when they made that vote. They didn't do that in public, is what he's saying. They don't have to. They are the committee mm -hmm. by statute. Didn't say they had to. I All said right. said what we're talking about. Plenty of discussion on this. All those in favor of this Warren article? Scott? Jim? Phil. Bob? Phil. And Phil. And Phil. Well, like, Thank again. Thank you. <laughs> All right, all those opposed? Jerry, Mike, Tim. Six, six. Mike, Sonny, what was your vote? I was six, six. Oh. For it? I'm sorry, okay. Brian, no. Eileen, no. All right, Tell fails. Madam Chair, so I can write it down for you. Okay. Sonny was a yes, Scott was a yes, Phil was a yes, and Bob was a yes. And I was a yes. And Jim was a yes. So it, pa it failed or passed? Everyone else was a no, so it failed. It failed. Okay, let's move on. We'll be Madam Chair, well. real, real quick, if I might. So the vote's 8 to 4. Um, I'm sorry. Four to eight. It, it was it was discussed again at the budget IT subcommittee meeting that uh, um, just after after the consideration we gave this and, and the fact that we do want 365 to move forward um, and we, we were you know the the sub, the position of the subcommittee is that the money stay where it is. I would make a motion on behalf of the IT subcommittee um, to respectfully request that the board of selectmen withdraw this article from the ballot. I second that motion. Any discussion on that? I think we've already discussed it uh, previously. We beat this like a dead horse. Okay. All those in favor of suggesting. suggesting that the Board of Selectmen withdraw. Same vote? Seven. Same vote. Seven five. Only this time it's eight to four. Seven to five. It's a recommendation five, anyway. They can do seven to five, right? Well, that's what the last one was, right? Yeah. Seven to five. Seven yeah. to five. Yeah. Seven the other five. one was. Okay. Keep going. Last time was five yes, seven, seven no. This seven time five, it's seven, seven yes, five, five no. Yeah. I just doodling. <laughs>